Hello. Hello, everyone. Yerete. <laughs> Please raise your hand if you think you are a creative person. OK. Don't be shy. OK. <laughs> What do you see here? <laughs> OK. <laughs> What do you see here? If you only see a paperclip, don't worry, because at the end of this talk, you will surely see something else. When I was invited to this talk here in Patras, you know how happy I was. I thought, what a great challenge in English, in another continent. This talk has helped me to reflect on what I achieve and what I want in the future. When I was a kid, creating was my thing. I drew my own comics. I built my own toys. I even built a treehouse together with my cousin and my sister. So, my parents seeing my interest in carpentry, they decided to give me my first toolbox. Just imagine this. A nine years old kid playing with real tools. Many years later, when I started my project of illustrations with objects, um, I was staring at a pair of red pliers. Uh, that, uh, the red pliers that were part of the toolbox that my parents gave me. And a whole story came to my mind. In high school, we had a friend we used to call Player Lex and also Cowboy because he has bone legs. So I came up with this illustration. Like the story I just told you, many great inventions, movies or songs are created by people that connect different personal experiences and turn them into an amazing projects. Going back when I was a kid, watching Jurassic Park for the first time had a big impact on me. I want to be a film director. Sadly, at that time, there weren't film schools in Ecuador, and my parents didn't have the resources to send me to study abroad. Little by little, I put aside my dream, and I started to like graphic design. I thought, I create my own comics, I design magazines in Word, I will be the best. But I was wrong. When I started to, st when I started to study graphic design, I almost failed my first two classes, and the rest of the years were very hard to me. I wasn't able to get good grades, even though I was very creative and diligent. This made me feel very insecure about my talent. But against the odds, yes, I graduate. A few years later, our life will change forever. My dad passed a wave of cancer in 26. It was, it was hard, not only emotionally, but also financially, since he was our breadwinner. His last wish, to be cremated, and his ashes skated in the river where he used to swim as a kid in a small city called Esmeraldas. The day of the ceremony, I had my digital camera with me. It was only four megapixels. Close to us, I could see a group of kids playing in the river. So I took some photos. But when they saw my camera, they started running towards me, and I took a final photo. One year later, one of the most important newspapers in Ecuador launched a photographic contest, the goal to capture the positive aspects of our country. I remember my photo and decided to send it. Guess who won the first place? And I also won $1,000. So here's my first tip to be creative. Your own life can be fascinated if you pay enough attention. Try to remember those anecdotes and find points of connection. 
That's the hardest part. Maybe it will help you to write about your life and reflect on it. Surely you will end up writing a whole book about yourself. That's part of my creative process. I also mix situations that happen to me with things that I like. I also keep asking myself, what would happen if? Or I ask myself weird questions. It may seem ridiculous, but they help me to generate new ideas. For example, what would happen if I use a cup as a bowl? So I create this animation. Other day, I thought, what would happen if I shave a piece of cardboard and I create this stop motion? And finally, I thought, what would happen if I rotate this photo and I made this illustration? There's something that people always ask me. How do you deal with your creative blocks? Well, I think I have more blocks than ideas. And that's a painful part of working with your own ideas. Many times, I don't want to do anything. And I prefer to do something different, like go shopping or cleaning. One great tip for creative blocks. Always write down your ideas in a computer or in a notebook. This way, you can keep a record of your thoughts, and maybe they could help you in the future. Anyway, this is like exercising. If your body hurts, it's because you're making an effort. When you are creating and you feel frustrated, that's how you know you are on the right track. Even more complicated than having success is being successful over the years. And in order to achieve this, it's necessary to work very hard. In these almost nine years that my project has last, I'm sort of looking for new ways to reinvent my style. Working on new book covers, trying new materials and techniques. I also teach people what they can do with everyday objects in my creativity and stop motion workshops. My illustrations are used as creative reference in children's books and advertising campaigns. And a school and university teachers from all over the world use my style in their creativity workshops. Aus Kippelkausen. Wir haben von dir gelernt, kreative Bilder zu erstellen. Es das hat uns viel Spaß gemacht. Ähm, ich finde cool, dass du aus Gegenständen Sachen oder Bilder herstellst und neu findest. Ich finde es schön, dass du dir immer neue Ideen einfallen lässt und immer neue schöne Bilder machst. Thank you for your video. Wir hoffen, dir haben unsere Bilder gefallen. Wir haben uns viel Mühe gegeben. For me, this is success. People creating every day, regardless of their abilities. And after nine years went viral, I'm still grateful for the people who like and share my work, because thanks to them, I'm here. As Andy Warhol once said, in the future, everyone will be famous for 15 minutes. However, in present days, everyone could be famous for 15 seconds, thanks to TikTok. Virality can be a blessing or a condemnation. For me, it meant a transformation in my work and myself as a person. Great opportunities came after my illustrations went viral, thanks to a post in the blog Colossal. 
my first cover magazine, my first exhibition in Sondrio, Italy, and the cover of National Geographic. Let's be clear. Today, anyone can go viral, but just few people use currently this fame to create an honest project. For me, the important thing is what we can do possibly to contribute to our society. If you are only looking for fame, you probably end up with an empty and meaningless project. I was lucky that my parents, in addition to education, gave me wisdom. They never told me what I was supposed to study, and they gave me complete freedom to make my own decisions. If you are a parent, try your best to always listen to your children. Maybe one day they will be standing right here talking about their passion. So, you want to create your own creative project? There are no magic formulas, but this one is quite close. The stories of your life, plus things you like, plus being different, and multiply for a lot of effort. I try to sum up what I do to create every day. Now, do you feel more creative? No? <laughs> I want to be sure that you really pay attention. I'm going to show you the same paperclip I showed you before. But this time, you are going to participate, OK? Please enter to ted tedxpatras.com slash paperclip and download this image. OK? OK. I want you to create something new with it, OK? Use Instagram stories to draw. Use simple lines. And remember, the most important thing is the idea. I will give you a few minutes, OK? Let's work. Are you ready? <laughs> OK. Are you ready now? <laughs> You have one minute. <laughs> Who's ready? A few people. Who's ready? Few, few people. <laughs> Upstairs? OK, show me your drawings. OK? 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 
Yeah. Awesome. Congratulations. The drawings are amazing. <laughs> Now, do you feel the metamorphosis? Louder. <laughs> okay. Efcaristo. Please don't forget to post your artwork and tag us, Synthescotch and Ted Patrax. Thank you.